So it's New Year's Day and I'm about to assemble some Belizean tamales. I have not done many of these in my life, but we're gonna see how this is gonna go. I've already prepped everything. I have my corn, my chicken, and I have the cow. One of these days, I'm gonna show you how to make all of these, how I did it. Okay, my love, I'm gonna give you banana. What you say? Say thank you. All right. <laughs> so my son is watching TV. Have a little time to just get this done. So I'm gonna show you a few of them, okay? Okay. So I know we're supposed to put this down here first. I put the um the plantain leaves inside the um foil paper the foil because I know it's easier to wrap that way I know some people make it with only the banana leaves but I'm sure it requires some technique you know my mom used to make a whole lot of stuff but she didn't grow up making tamales she that's not one of the things that she she made but she was fantastic at so many different things but I always enjoyed and appreciated a good tamale or in Belize Tamales is singular and tamales is plural. So I always enjoy one good tamales. So we're gonna see how these come out today. I'm gonna, I think I'm probably gonna get about hmm, maybe 15 or 18 tamales. I'm not gonna put too many things inside, too many chicken inside of it. But um, I'm optimistic about it. And as I said, once this come out good, this is like a, a trial for me here. I'm going to go ahead and make a video with um, how, I, how I make all the components for it, okay? All right, so I put the corn, outside, the outside corn, then I put the cull, and then I put, Lucas, why are you laughing? Then I put the chicken. So... This is how I see people do it. My sister Cardi makes a good one too. Actually, I've been talking to her about how to do this. I'm not, I'm not ashamed to say that I get tips from all about because you never know everything, right? And you have to admit that to yourself so you can learn. All right, so we're gonna tighten this right here because we don't want, it to, want any water to get in, right? So I'm gonna do that right here. Oh no, I think I put a little bit too much on this in this one. All right, so we know for, we learn from our mistakes. The next one, okay, let's take a out. We're not gonna use that, squeeze it out right there so we don't have all of that seeping out. Fold, fold. And then I do the other side, fold, fold, and fold. Oh, this is a nice size tamale. Okay. All right. One down. All right. Let me do a few more, okay? Okay. So I made quite a few already, as you can see. Take a look. I wrapped quite a bit. I'm going to make some more. And looks like i have two four six eight nine nine tamales already so i think i'm gonna get close to yeah i'll get close to 18 of them i don't get close to 18. let's take a look so i ended up getting about well i got 15 chicken tamales that was from a tray of chicken thighs and I have two pork tamales, and you see how I tie the string around the edge, the um, some of the banana leaves, because I want to differentiate, you know, which one is the chicken. I have two pork, as I had some um, roast pork in the fridge, just a little bit, and I said, hey, why not? People love pork tamales too, right? Okay, so that's what we do, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be good. And what I'm gonna do now with these, I'm gonna put them in the pot and boil them for an hour. I put some of the banana leaves in the bottom of it 
that's what I heard people said to do. As I tell you, I don't have much experience making this tamales, but believe you me, I learn very fast. And once I learn to do something, I, I learn to do it very well. Because it's one of the talents that God gave me. Not to try and sound all arrogant or anything, but you know, I'm, I create good food. And you'll see some of my other stuff to come. You know, quick things that you could make in your kitchen and whatnot. Tamales is usually a long, drawn out procedure, but it's a labor of love and it's worth it. So I will show you the finished product when I'm done. This is the pot. This is a nice size pot. It holds everything. All 17 tamales. My 15 chicken and 2 pork. And you can see I still have space on top. I fill up the um, pot with um, hot water. So that it boils quickly. I'm going to time this for an hour. And we'll have these set. And I'll show you how it looks when it's done. You all are on, my, on, the, on the same journey with me trying to figure if I'm doing this thing right. So we'll see what needs to be tweaked after this and we'll perfect this as we go along.